Hello from Shraddha from Love Bites. Today I bring to you Koi Soy or Khao Soy. It's from Northern Thailand or more from Chiang Mai actually. So it's a variation of the Burmese Khao Soy. So this is very popular in Burma, uh, Laos and Northern Thailand. They all have their own variations. The Burmese one is a thicker gravy. This one's a thinner soupy gravy. I have done the paste fresh. You can use red curry paste if you don't want to make the paste. I have used whole wheat noodles. You can use regular all-purpose flour egg noodles for this and have fried a bit of the noodles for the crunchiness on top which is part of the dish anyways. You need to do that. And instead of the Thai chili paste, I have used uh, sambal olek which is also an option. So you can use that. So just don't stop at a recipe because you don't have an ingredient. Take a different uh, variation of something and please go ahead and make a dish. It's nice. Do give it a try. Do like and keep watching. Thank you. We're making the paste for a Thai koi soy. It's from the northern part of Thailand from Chiang Mai. So we're going to take lemongrass, cut off this bit, the root end, just throw that. Now if you have a mallet or a thick knife, just hit this part and make it soft. So just bruise it a bit and then chop it. And then you can use this in the paste. So don't go all the way up when you get lemongrass because it's just fiber. Use that for your boiling your water and all that and just take this much we need very little for this recipe and now we're going to grind it all together to a fine paste take a grinder and add in all your ingredients here goes the lemongrass i had soaked these dried chilies overnight or a few hours if you can soak them in water drain them add that garlic these are the small pink shallots which come galangal kefir lime leaves turmeric coriander powder and cumin powder and a bit of salt we'll try and grind this without water but if you think you need water use very little but make a very fine paste out of this so the paste has been formed absolutely no lumps inside no pieces nothing so now take it out in a bowl and keep it now if you don't want to make it immediately just cook it in a little oil and again freeze or refrigerate but we'll be making it soon so we won't be doing that start making the curry for a thai koi soy take some oil in a pan the paste we had made so if you cannot make this paste you can use thai red curry paste also it works very well with this be careful it'll splutter Let's cook it for a little bit because this was raw. So I'm doing a vegetarian version. Uh, in Thailand, they usually do a chicken form of this. So if you take chicken, then just cook your chicken now. But since I'm doing veggies, I'm going to do, add my vegetables. Carrot, French beans. Waiting for that to turn a little tender. Just cover it and cook so it's faster. The carrot and beans have become slightly tender. We add, add in our peppers. You can use baby corn, all that also if you want. Now let this cook a little. Our peppers are done. Let's add in our mushroom. Our vegetables look done. Now we'll add in some vegetable stock. If you're making chicken, then add chicken stock. I'm using fish sauce. Please use soy sauce. And now, we'll add in coconut milk. Thai koi soy, koi soy is not thick like the Burmese koi soy. It's watery. So don't add too much of thick coconut milk. The thin one will do. And there is no gram flour in this. A bit of sugar, like in all Thai preparations. And salt to taste. Now let it come to a boil. And then taste it. If you think you need to add anything else to it, like the paste that we had made some more soy sauce or fish sauce sugar salt please do so and adjust it let's come to a boil keep it aside now we're going to boil our noodles see how thin it is 
it's very soupy this uh, dish so now just remove it from the gas and keep it aside let's boil our noodles heat some water add a bit of oil a bit of salt and your noodles cook it till it's al dante and then drain it yeah so the noodles are done al dante i'm going to just drain it and keep it aside and serve let's assemble our thai koi soy take noodles in a bowl now take the gravy that we had made put that see how liquidy it is take some sambal olek paste or chili paste put that on top some coriander lime wedges some asian shallots or the small onions some bean sprouts and some noodles that you fry so this is very optional the noodles if you feel like but they do add it here you go and now just eat it isn't this amazing it's a really delicious dish and you will make it again and again once you have made it thank you